Tonight, law enforcement in Kenosha says their plan to stop school violence is working. They recently visited the site of a mass shooting in Florida to strengthen their own plan. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne explains why funding is a, a tip line is causing concern. As you may imagine, there were concerns. In Kenosha County Wednesday morning, educators, police, and prosecutors learned techniques to try and prevent acts of mass violence. Their teacher, the U.S. Secret Service. Horrible tragedies can still occur. But on our watch, we're doing all we can think of, all we can. The program's focus is keeping schools safe by identifying concerning behavior before something bad happens. The average planner of an incident that's been acted upon in a school was, it was engaged in that planning for more than six months. District Attorney Michael Gravely says statistically, two people know something about plans of school violence or acts of self-harm. We recently went down to Parkland uh, with KUSD to look at what happened there and learn some of those lessons. Two weeks ago, Kenosha's police chief and school district leaders visited Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Florida. A gunman killed 17 people and hurt more than a dozen others in 2018. They um, did not have a threat reporting system like SUSO. A 24-7 tip line, speak up, speak out, SUSO, is provided by the Wisconsin Office of School Safety. Director Trish Kilpin says the hotline received 100 credible tips since it launched three years ago. Funding for Speak Up, Speak Out is also an issue, and leaders say they're running out of money. We have that funding through December 2024. Um, we are hopeful that in this legislative session that there is a fix. In Kenosha, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Republican State Representative Mark Bourne, who is the Joint Committee on Finance co-chair, told us back in September the legislature continued funding the Office of School Safety at current levels. Bourne said, and we're quoting now, the state cannot backfill the expansion of government that occurred in nearly every agency due to one-time federal money, and this office is no different.